Hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I am getting over a summer cold, so if you hear odd inflections in my voice, that's why. But this is an addendum to my back row video I made yesterday where I talked about it being canned. And I really just wanted to highlight how concerning this is. Because like I said in that video, nothing is safe. And after the articles I just finished reading concerning the future of HBO Max, shout out to Aaliyah Brown who commented that. I will respond properly once I've posted this video. But after I finished reading those articles, literally nothing is safe. And I said in that video, you know, who's to say Blue Beetle won't get axed? And with this merger and everything, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. And that's unfortunate because... The suit looks great, they've been filming, the casting looks decent, but we've heard not a peep about this movie outside of the set photos and the casting. We have not heard a plot, we have not heard of a release date, we have not heard of when we'll see a sneak peek, nothing. And this was the same thing that happened with the Batgirl film. We had photos of the costume. We had some, I don't know if they were leaked set photos, but we did have set photos, right? And we had the cast and then that shit got canceled. So uh, it's looking pretty uncertain and that's so unfortunate. And this is why I said WB kind of screwed over their employees because you didn't even have the courtesy to tell the background directors the movie was getting canceled. Like they found out while they were at a wedding and they put out a statement. You couldn't even tell them in private before it got out there. So who is to say that's not gonna happen with Blue Beetle? I wouldn't be surprised if it did and that's really unfortunate. I just don't understand why these decisions aren't made prior to filming. Why are you wasting everyone's time when it's clear you don't have faith in the project, number one? Because that was what happened with Batgirl. They really didn't have faith in it doing well in theaters, and they were shaky on it with HBO Max. So why did you even waste everyone's time? With Blue Beetle, the only thing I could see saving that film is if they believe it could do well in theaters. But then there's Zaslav. His plan, whatever he has planned to restructure the DCEU, Blue Beetle might not fit in that. And so regardless of how they feel it'll do in theaters, chop, chop. As far as the future of HBO Max goes, it's not good. Discovery, it seems like they want to cut costs. So based on the articles I've read, what they're going to do or what they're already doing, they're going into HBO Max, they're going to chop shit down, take what's left, they're going to put it on Discovery Plus under an HBO tab and say, buy it, love you. And as a consumer, you're looking like, what? It's not appealing at all. We basically might be paying more for less content if they ax HBO Max. Like, they've already removed six original films from HBO Max, including Moonshot, which is pretty recent, I think, and the never-released House Party reboot. Yes. And all that tells me is that the shows are next, especially the DC ones. And when, when I think about that, it makes sense. Like the odd marketing strategies, how they didn't promote Harley Quinn season three until the month it was being released. Because I remember when they announced season three way back when, we didn't hear anything until the month it was being released. Then we got trailer after trailer after trailer. They did the same thing with Young Justice, which is probably going to be canceled again because they have yet to say if it was renewed despite its ending. Stargirl, they took forever to say if there was a season three. So that's hanging on by a thread. Doom Patrol is probably hanging on by a thread after this next season. Titans is hanging on by a damn thread. Uh, Peacemaker is probably safe. They've canceled The Flash. All of the original content, especially the shows that have moved from the CW to HBO Max, so Superman and Lois and Stargirl, hanging on by a thread. And they're probably going to be axed after their next season. And that sucks because we're losing all this great content to cut costs. It's possible with the merger, this could lead to better things. However, from my vantage point, WB is not in a position where they should be making these kinds of moves. Like, you're trying to regain the fans' trust. 
you know, the thing you've been stomping on for the past couple years. I'm not sure if the best decision for cost-cutting measures is to strip all your original content, DC or otherwise, because the fandoms are very strong with some of these shows, especially with shows that maybe aren't as liked universally, like Titans, for instance. Fandom is very strong, very strong with Young Justice, very strong with Harley Quinn, and I'm sure your other shows that are not DC related. This is not going to work out in the long run. I just, I don't know. It's crazy <laughs> that this might be happening. Like, we'll see, I guess. We'll see what the future holds for HBO Max, DC properties. <laughs> oh my God. I hope whatever plan Zaslav has for the DCU is worth all of this. That's all I have to say. I hope it's worth all of this because this is a hot mess and very concerning. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Um, that's it. That's all I've got. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.